Hello students, today I am going to teach you about rational number word problems. So we will be putting all the concepts that we have read like plus minus into division into solving word problems. So let us start. So as you can see the first question, Raju cuts a 21 1 by 4 meter long rope into pieces of 4 1 by 4 meter length each. How many pieces of the rope did he cut? So what is the information given? It is the total length of the rope is given to us. So let us answer. Total length of the rope is 21 1 by 4 meter which is equal to we will convert into mixed fraction mixed into the improper so that is 85 by 4 meter now length of each piece that he cuts is given as 4 1 by 4 so length of one piece length of one piece is given as 4 1 by 4 meter which is equal to 16 plus 1 17 by 4 meter so how many pieces of the rope did he cut so how can we know when the total length is given and one piece length is given we have to obviously divide so therefore number of pieces he has cut will be equal to 85 by 4 which is a rational number divided by 17 by 4 which is another rational number so when I solve it as I already told you in the division module that the division changes into multiplication and this becomes reciprocal so 4 by 17 the so 4 ones are 4 ones are cancels 17 ones are 17 fives are 85 so how many pieces is the answer answer will be 5 pieces so this is a simple problem on solving of the word problem with division. Let us take another example to understand it better. So as you can see the next question. A mother and her two sons got a room constructed for 60,000. The elder son contributes three-eighths of his mother's contribution while the younger son contributes one-half of his mother's share. How much do the three contribute individually? So, we don't know mother's share. So, we'll start with that, assuming the mother's share to be X. Let mother's contribution x so the elder son contributes 3 8 of his mother's contribution so elder son's contribution will be 3 by 8 x and the younger son contributes 1 by 2 of his mother's share so younger son's contribution will be equal to 1 by 2 of x mother share. Total contribution is already known to us that is 60,000. So let us write total contribution is equal to rupees 60,000. So how much did the 3 contribute individually? So if we add all these 3 we will get a total of 60,000. So, we will write x plus 3 by 8 of x plus half of x is equal to 60,000. So, let us take x common. So, we are left with 1 because 1 into x will give us 1. Uh, 1 into x will give us x here. 3 by 8 is the uncommon factor and here half is the uncommon factor equal to 60,000. So, we will solve it like we already know the division, addition of the rational number. We will get LCM 8. So 8 
plus 3 plus 2 to the 4 so 4 into 1 is 4 equal to 60,000 so x into or in bracket we can put the total will be 15 8 by 8 equal to 60,000 so x to calculate x we will take this multiplication to the other side and it will become division or reciprocal this 8 will go up and 15 will come down so our final answer will be 32,000 that is a mother's contribution so how much will be the elder son's contribution 3 by 8 of x that is 3 by 8 of 32,000 so 4 so that is 12,000 and half of mother's contribution as the younger son's contribution that is 16,000 then you can write the statement for each of these now let us go to the next question so our next question is in an examination 400 students appeared if 2 by 3 of the boys and all 130 girls passed an examination then find how many boys failed in the examination so here what data is given to us so let us write that first total students is equal to it's written all 130 girls passed so we know that total girls is equal to 130 we don't know the number of boys so we can calculate that by simple subtraction 400 minus 130 that is equal to 270 but all did not pass two-third of the boys passed so two-third of boys equal to 2 by 3 into 270 that gives us 180 so that is number of boys passed is equal to 180 so our question says to find out how many boys failed in the examination so you know that total students were 270 total boys and 180 have passed so therefore number of boys failed is equal to 270 minus 180 which is equal to 90 so if you read the question like this and try to understand you have to do plus minus into a division you can easily be able to solve the questions word problems based on the rational numbers thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe the page for more interesting videos thank you